across the island, I've hidden clues. You will have to closely observe each other. If anyone can name the killer, that person wins our game. Any questions? <laughs> Allie Barry, uh, that has a kick. So, which is your favorite uh, whodunit from all time? Of all time. Uh, well, my favorite whodunit movie is the original Death on the Nile with Peter Ustinov. To me, that's everything that a good whodunit can be. Uh, my favorite whodunit, I love, I mean, Agatha Christie I'm a huge fan of. I think, um, I think And Then the Renan is her best book, but I personally love The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, which um, is a Poirot mystery that has a very subversive twist to it that I think is amazing. Anyway, but I could, I, I love lots of them. <laughs> To me, I, I, and this is what we try to do with these movies, I think um, I think first and foremost it has to work as a story. You know, it can't just be a puzzle that you're leaning back and trying to solve. Um, although that's an important, fun part of it. But to me, a good who, and I think Agatha Christie understood this, a good whodunit is, is also just a good story that keeps you engaged and surprises and satisfies you at the end beyond even just the surprise of whodunit. Um, it gives you the satisfaction of, uh, of just a traditional good story also. Yeah. The actors were telling me that you played murder mystery parties. We did. The shooting. We did. <laughs> and that you were not a really good player. <laughs> what? Who's telling you? You gotta name names. Who's telling you this? They're right. They're right. They're right. They're right. No, I was. I got killed very quickly. <laughs> but also, it's hard because I think when we're, you're playing mafia, I don't know if we call it werewolves or the, the murder mystery game we were playing. Um, because I'm the director, and in some ways on set, that makes you kind of like the father figure on set. Everyone just assumes I'm the killer, and so they want to kill me off as quickly as possible. So there's lots of complicated dynamics happening with it. But um, also, I'm not very good at the game. It's true. It's true. Um, you said in an early interview that Clement Blanc is gay and it became huge. Yeah. Was it that something that was from the beginning in, in the first movie in the script? Yeah, it's something Daniel and I kind of talked about, incidentally, in the first one, and it just made a lot of sense in this one. Um, it seems it seemed kind of kind of a right natural thing if we're going to get a little glimpse of his home life. Um, it's not, you know, it's not a huge part of uh, in these movies specifically because the detective is typically kind of set apart from the human drama, and he's also kind of an enigma a little bit. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it seemed like a very natural kind of fact about Blanc's life. And you uh, shot in Greece. When are you coming to Spain? Oh my God, I would love to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's have a Madrid mystery for the next one. Let's do it. That sounds good. I'll be in back Madrid. in Madrid, right here in this room, <laughs> at a junket. <laughs> so you you composed the the music, the soundtrack mm. with your cousin, who's the composer of your all of your films. And and I read in an interview that uh, you started uh, doing films together when you were ten. Yeah. Yeah. Please tell me about those movies. Oh my God, they were so bad, but they were fun. We would just do so. We, when Nathan, my cousin, and I, we would um, every time we would have a family vacation together, we would use all of our brothers and little brothers and sisters as cast and crew, and we would just put them to work the whole vacation making a movie. It's very unfair when I think about it because they didn't get a vacation. They just we kind of made that turned them into free labor. Um, but they would always be like a parody, like we did a parody of Ghostbusters called Bee Busters, where there's a hive of bees in the house and they have to like get it with squirt guns. And it was always stuff, yeah, it was always stuff like that. So, um, but it, it was Nathan and I kind of, you know, yeah, hunched over a VCR doing our editing together. It's fun to cut to now when we're doing, doing this, it's, it's, yeah. No murder mysteries? I don't think we ever, we never did like a whodunit mystery. Um, it was mostly kind of like spy movies and, you know, parodies of different movies. We liked Mel Brooks, so we would do lots of parodies like that. Yeah, I don't think we ever did a whodunit, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks. I guess we'll talk to you later yeah. on. Okay. Thank you. See you.